Hey everyone, what's going on? Tonight on the television, one of the big things that was going on was the 76th Golden Globe Awards. And within this, a big deal was that the actor Jeff Bridges received the Lifetime Achievement Award. If you're new to this channel, what I talk about is how the world that we live in is scripted by some type of numerical code. And there are people in this world, such as the people who control our mainstream media, the people who control our sports leagues, our movie industry, who understand this knowledge and they use it to essentially play God over the mass. And this numerical code stems back to what is called Kabbalah, which is Jewish mysticism that has a belief that God created the world by merging the letter with the number. And there's other ancient knowledge things that go along with it, such as Hermeticism, which within Hermeticism, there's a belief that everything is the same and everything is the opposite, such as, you know, cold is really just a different degree of hot and hot is really just a different degree of cold and so on. And within Kabbalah, within Gematria, which is the practice of coding numbers into words and phrases, we'll just put this really quick, the word God equals 10 in reverse and also 55 in reverse. And look what Satan equals. The frontwards way 55 and 10. And on the Tree of Life, within Kabbalah, there is the 10 Sephirots that are there to help you understand God. So there's 10 ways to understand God. God equals 10. Satan equals 10. If you check out Marilyn Manson, he has a song called You Say God and I Say Say 10 like the number. And, you know, think about it. You say God, I say Say 10. It's because he understands this code. He says Say the number 10. But moving on, what I have talked about for a long time, since 2016, I've been following this narrative with Jeff Bridges, and I documented a whole bunch of stuff about how he was connected even to the death of Ralphie May. I thought maybe Ralphie May, the, the fat comedian, might die, and then Ralphie May did die, absolutely connected to what I was talking about. But Jeff Bridges is also important, important to... The, there's bridge symbolism going on. And last year I talked about how the Super Bowl was absolutely synced up to a bridge collapse because it was held in Minneapolis that had the famous bridge collapse that happened on 8-1. And it supposedly fell 81 feet and the main trusses were 81 meters long. And it took the emergency crew 81 minutes to transport everyone to the hospital. A big deal in the Super Bowl was all about Francis Scott Key and the National Anthem, and Francis Scott Key's birthday was August 1st. The Golden Gate Bridge later that year turned 81 years old, or it had been open for 81 years. And in Gematria, if you write out Golden Gate Bridge, it just happens to equal 81 and 81 and many, many other things. Pope Francis... He turned 81 years old, 81 days after the Jesuit anniversary, and he's supposedly the first Jesuit pope. And eight months and one day after his birthday is even 81818, you know. And the word pope in Hebrew lettering equals 81. And the word pontiff means bridge builder. So just pointing out all the stuff. Jeff Bridges is important to a lot of what's going on. And... I'm going to skip over some of this stuff, but the birth of my son was even important to all of this. He was born on January 17th, and the word bridge in Jabatria equals 117. And his, his birth was just really important to all of this. The day that he was born, just before we left to go to the hospital, I made this post about the big Lebowski and Jeff Bridges even. so. And then on March 15th last year, we had the FIU bridge collapse, even. And it was all coded by the numbers. You know, it even happened on the 44th mayor of San Francisco's birthday. His 44th birthday, the 44th mayor. 
the word earthquake equals 44 in gematria. But moving on, the word golden globes also equals 117. And another big thing that was going on last year during the time of the Super Bowl was the Stoneman Douglas shooting that was really synced up to the moon landing. And we had just had the Falcon Heavy launch that happened just before that. It was the, the 49th Falcon Heavy launch, and it was all synced up to David Bowie and the song Starman and whatnot. David Bowie died two years, 27 days before that launch. That's the 49th prime number. Falcon Heavy equals 49. David Bowie equals 49. Tesla Roadster equals 49. Starman, 49. You can see all these on the screen. And Starman was important because Jeff Bridges was in the movie called Starman. So, I, I was just looking at this Golden Globes here, and the two hosts of the Golden Globes just so happened to be Sandra O, oh, who ironically was born on the anniversary of the moon landing. July 20th, that's the day that we supposedly landed on the moon in 1969. And July 20th to the Golden Globes just so happens to be 170 days. And the word moon in Jewish gematria equals 170. And if you look up the moon in regards to the Jews, the moon is important to the Jews. They worship the moon. Because the moon disappears and then it always comes back, though, you know. So there is a sync, a sync up to the Jews and the moon. You know, think about Kabbalah within the, you know, it's Jewish mysticism. The other host was Andy Samberg, which is interesting. His birthday, August 18th, that big day I was talking about with Pope Francis and Bridges, right? 818. So his birthday last year was 81818. And the, the when I first started talking about the Big Lebowski, 818 was the 231st day of the year. And that's what was really important to the death of Ralphie May and a bunch of other things. But 818 was an important day with the Big Lebowski. I'll leave some links in the description. There's a bunch of long videos. That will make more sense if you check them videos out. But Andy Andy Sandberg, his name equals 46 in Gematria. And Sandra O equals 46. If you write out just Golden Globe, it equals 46. And these are the hosts. And it, the Golden Globes just so happen to fall on a date numerology of 46. 1 plus 6 plus 20 plus 19. You add that up, you get 46. Also, what was interesting is on January 20th and 21st, we're getting a total lunar eclipse. There's a total lunar eclipse that's coming on January 20th. The UTC time is actually January 21st. And if you go from the day of the Golden Globes today to this eclipse on January 21st, it's 15 days before. And the word moon is... And Gematria just so happens to equal 15. So I was like, interesting, it's synced up. Sandra O, oh, born on the day of the moon landing. We have this eclipse coming up 15 days later. Moon equals 50, 15 in Gematria. I even had some synchronicity with my daughter in this TV show called The Dragon Prince while I was writing this up. And they just kept mentioning the moon right as I was writing the word moon. And then I looked it up in the whole episode was about the moon. I can't remember what it was, but season one, book one, called Moon. So anyway, what I didn't look up until tonight, I didn't realize that the, it was called a Lifetime Achievement Award, but I didn't realize it was called the Cecil B. DeMille Award. So I decided to look that guy up, Cecil B. DeMille. And interesting, look when his birthday is, January 21st, so, or his death day, I'm sorry, but, so he, he died, what, it'll be 69, 79, 89, 99, 09, 19, 
it'll be the 60th anniversary of this guy dying when we get this eclipse that the Golden Globe were synced up to, right? So what are the odds of this? This guy's birth, death day, the same day that we're going to get this eclipse this year. Notice he died age 77 too, and his name equals 77. Cecil B. DeMille, 77, and Cecil Blunt DeMille equals 77. When you read further about this guy, it talks about during the Apollo 11 mission, which is the one that landed on the moon, Buzz Aldrin refers to himself in one instance as Cecil B. De Aldrin as a humorous nod to DeMille. <laughs> what are the odds of that? You know, Apollo 11, Buzz Aldrin refers to him as, you know, makes a joke about this guy right here who's born or dies on the eclipse day. When you look at Buzz Aldrin, look what his birthday is. January 20th, which is the day that this eclipse begins in some parts of the world. Yeah, especially the United States it begins on January 20th. And if you write out the word eclipse, eclipse just so happens to equal 120 in Gematria. So, what are the odds, you know? And here's an example I just wanted to show you. Omaha, Nebraska, that's where pretty much where I live. About I live in Iowa, but whatever. January 20th here, and it ends on January 21st here. So, you know, once again, there's something important to bridges and important to the space theme that I've talked a whole lot about. And another recent story that we got was China landed on the, the far side of the moon, is how they put it in here. Far side, dark side. And there's got to be something. I, I talked about Pink Floyd and the wall and dark side of the moon a few other times. There has to be something significant about this. Because we get this story on January 3rd, right? And it happens during the government shutdown that's all about building the wall, right? Think about it. Donald Trump. The guy who wants to build the wall. We got the Great Wall of China. Pink Floyd has the wall. They also have Dark Side of the Moon. And now China lands on the Dark Side of the Moon, right? During this government shutdown that's all about Donald Trump wanting to build the wall. And remember, when Donald Trump won the election in 2016, just after he won on November 14th, we got the closest supermoon since the year 1948. And in Javatria, Donald Trump equals 48. The word wall equals 48. Israel declared its independence in the year 48, which is important. And the Indians were in the World Series. The Indians haven't won the World Series since the year 48. The uh, Mexican-American War came to an end in the year 48. Mike Pence later on became the 48th vice president. The word Freemason equals 48. You know, it, Illuminati equals 48. It's an important, important number. So Donald Trump, 48. Wall, 48. You know, so now we're getting this stuff about the moon again. And, you know, it comes during the government shutdown that's all about building the wall. And another thing, if you followed me, pink was a really big thing, too. Pink. The pink symbolism was really important. I swear that's why we got the death of Neil Young's ex-wife. Because Neil Young, if you remember, when Donald Trump announced that he was running for president, he came down the elevator and he was listening to Keep On Rockin' in the Free World by Neil Young. And there was a huge Native American theme all summer. That's why I thought the Indians would play the Cubs in the World Series, and then the Indians went on to play the Cubs in the World Series. But Neil Young's wife, she just so happened to make her debut as a singer with a band called the Pink Ets. And if you've been following what I've been saying, there's something synced up to Philadelphia and Bridges like no other. The Ben Franklin Bridge I've been talking about since 2015. It's been really important, and it also, she, her first nationwide appearance was singing on the backups on Neil Young's song called Philadelphia that was made for the, the soundtrack for the movie Philadelphia, 
and Pink, the singer, was from the Philadelphia area, and she sang the national anthem last year at the Super Bowl that the Eagles played in, the Philadelphia Eagles, something I had talked about over a month before they even announced it. I thought Pink might sing the national anthem at the Super Bowl, and then Pink, of course, sang the national anthem. But this lady, in regards to Pink, she's also famous for starting this school called the Bridge School, if I can find it here. The Bridge School. Peggy Young founded the Bridge School. Like, like, I don't get it, you know? So she dies, she's connected to Pink Stuff, and she founds the Bridge School. That Pink Stuff is also connected to Jim Carrey in the movie The Number 23, and he does the gematria of the color pink in that movie. And Jim Carrey's birthday is January 17th. And they zoomed in on him a lot during the Golden Globes tonight. I, I watched a little bit of it, and it seemed like they were zooming in on Jim Carrey a lot. So, possibly nothing, you know, but just interesting. If you write out bridge school, it equals 117. The word bridge equals 117. Ben Franklin was born on January 17th. So, you know, something really important to that. This same day that we got this China Far Side of the Moon story, we also got a story about Steph Curry, the Golden State Warriors basketball player, wearing his special moon shoes from NASA or whatever, right? His NASA moon shoes in a game against the Houston Rockets of all teams, right? Think about it. Houston and, you know, space. And then Steph Curry wears his moon shoes against the Houston Rockets. And, again... For years, I've been talking about how the Houston Rockets are important to this, and I even talked about how it's connected to China. The Houston Rockets, I can't remember what year it was. I think it was 2017. They are 2016, actually, but it went into the 17th season. They went and played in China, and one of their players wrote on the Great Wall of China or whatever. So it's definitely synced up. And then we got the death of Isaiah Thomas's sister, who was named China, and it was synced up to all of what I was talking about with the Houston Rockets. His sister even died in a car that looked exactly like the car my girlfriend drives. And then a few, what was it, a week later, Isaiah Thomas lost his tooth during the game. And my girlfriend earlier in the year had lost that same exact tooth. So there's definitely something crazy going on with the, the way... This world works, but, you know, the people who control the media, possibly they just put that story in the news for me to see, or, you know, I don't know really the full exact meaning of it all, but it was absolutely crazy. But anyway, let's look at Jabatria of the story here. China and Jabatria equals 35. If you write out far side, it equals 35. If you write out dark side, it equals 35. If you write out NASA, NASA equals 35. The rover's called the U-2-2. If you write that out, it equals 35 in Gematria. The same day, Steph Curry scored 35 points in the game. What are the odds, you know? The day that Eugene Cernan died in 2016, I think it was. 17, 2017. He died the same day the Cleveland Cavaliers played the Golden State Warriors. And the Golden State Warriors won by 35 points. And I can't remember what. King James equals 35. And Kevin Durant wears number 35. And I can't remember. Draymond Green did something with the number 35 in that game. And Steph Curry's birthday just so happens to be Pi Day, which was also Eugene Cernan's birthday. And if you write out the word eclipse in satanic geometry, it equals 314, you know, just like pi. Steph Curry also plays in Oakland, right? If you write out the Golden State Warriors, that equals 117, like bridge. And if you write out Steph Curry, it equals 117, like bridge. And think about them being in the San Francisco Bay Area where the Golden Gate Bridge is. And if you go way back, this this lunar eclipse that's going to happen 
it is a, a blood moon, which is interesting because if you go way back to what I was talking about in 2015 with the four, four blood moons of the Tetrad, there was a part where I was talking about how in the movie Herbie the Love Bug, Lindsay Lohan is wearing a shirt with a blood moon on it, and it has the Golden Gate Bridge. So it has the Golden Gate Bridge with the blood moon. So I need to go back and examine some of that old information, but it's definitely interesting to think about. The word eclipse also equals 120, and moon shoes equal 120. And this eclipse is going to begin on January 20th in, you know, some parts of the world. On Buzz Aldrin's birthday of all days. Before Eugene Cernan died, too. Before Eugene Cernan died, I made a post about Purdue University back in November. And I talked about how they were the first and last guys to walk on the moon. Neil Armstrong was the first guy. Eugene Cernan was the last guy. And then two months later, Eugene Cernan dies. And just after I talked about that, John Glenn died. And then when Eugene Cernan died, I mentioned Don Rickles and how it was interesting that Don Rickles, I can't remember if he roasted Eugene, yeah, he roasted Eugene Cernan, I believe, and how that was important to Donald Trump being Com Comedy Central roasted and whatnot. And then, of course, Don Rickles died just a couple months after Eugene Cernan. Don Rickles, he died on April. Sixth. So, just wanted to make a video showing some of these interesting things that are going on. There's definitely something with bridges again. Jeff Bridges is really important to this. Think about Golden Globe as well, right? That's part of the 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 joke, right? Because I guarantee someone's gonna watch this video and tell me the Earth is the Earth's really flat and whatever else, and you know. Like I've said before, possibly, but there's not really any way to prove it unless you go to outer space, you know, build a spaceship and prove it, you know. So I'm not worried about if the Earth is flat right now. There's no way for me to really fully physically prove it to myself. I just ha I don't have the means to do that. So I'm not going to argue with you about whether the Earth is flat or not. I don't really care <laughs> either way. So it just doesn't matter. You know, it's not something I can prove. So. But just, just thinking about it, you know, the Golden Globes, and then it's a synced up to the moon, right? And, you know, people think the Earth is flat. So, you know, we'll keep a lookout. I'm trying to trying to get ahead of this pattern. There's, It's a definite pattern. But um, have a good one. Peace.